Hi everyone. So I'm coming on just to explain to you that there's going to be some shifts coming up for the collective. Astrologically speaking, we are about to enter Venus, the planet of relationships. Uh, moving into Scorpio, Venus doesn't like to be in a water sign. Venus likes to be in Libra, likes to be in Taurus. Venus is that feel good energy. She's the goddess. She's about pleasures and beauty and just having fun and feeling good. Well, guess what? It, when Venus is in Scorpio, she does not feel so good. So that's going to bring up a lot of deeper issues in relationships. A lot of shadow work needs to be done if you're in intimate relationships. Uh, so don't be surprised that a lot of people will be going through some challenges in the relationships and a lot of breakups moving into 2020 because they haven't done the work. So by work, shadow work, what I mean by that is have both parties been able to sit down with themselves and hold space for the emotions that come up. Because let's be honest, Scorpio is intense, it's emotional, it's everything that lurks beneath the surface. So I wouldn't be surprised that even secrets and hidden emotions or hidden information comes up during this transit. And remember, it also goes back to what happened 10 years ago with all these other transits. And even further back, since 1984, and we can also, you know, really look at when libra was a very strong energy in the in the cosmos so libra relationships man that's it's taking a hit because where we are headed in our new vibration is in this new earth's vibration we can we can obviously feel it with you know the start of this pandemic and the dismantling of the patriarchy and the dismantling of the lower expression of masculine energy that we're trying to shed and heal from whether we are male or female right so with all of that frequency trying to rise in our energy fields it's very normal that you might not feel as connected to your partner as you used to uh, you might also start real, realizing who your true friends are. This is, you know, relationships is one-on-one -on -one connections. It could be with coworkers. It could be with friends. It could be with anybody. So basically what I'm trying to say is that all this energy, especially the Scorpio energy, because I'm looking at the chart now and Mercury is still in Scorpio. So that's our the collective's mindset, right? What we're thinking about. And then Venus going to, shift to Scorpio it's it's deep we're going deep we are healing from traumas from from our past in this life from past lives uh, we are healing from unrequited love that stems from past lives unrequited love being it's just one-sided it's not working out it's just you're not on the same page you're not on the same vibration anymore you're not seeing eye to eye uh, someone's not putting you as a, as a priority in their life as they used to be, as they used to, you know, take it as it resonates. But, and also Scorpio deals with um, other people's money. So maybe your partner owes people money. There's, there's a lot of stuff that's hidden. So another uh, important transit that I wanted to talk about real quick with you guys is um, the sun moving into Sag, right? So we've been in Scorpio season and so by the time we are, I believe, tomorrow, I think, yeah, the 21st, the sun is hitting Sagittarius energy. However, and I love Sagittarius energy, it's fire energy. Now we're able to really pull back the bow and out, out, arrow and really focus our intentions. If we've done some work, some healing work, it's easier that way when we have, you know, some fire in the sky. However, the sun in Sag with the south node being the karmic path that we need to release in this life will trigger some people, will reveal what needs to go. Now, this can be belief systems, this can be habits, this can be all sorts of things. So if you found these messages helpful and they helped you to really understand the energy that we're, that we're facing and that we're about to embark in, 
Uh, and if you want to participate in this energy exchange, you can leave me a donation through my website, mintuitiontarot.com slash donate. Um, in the future, I'd love to practice reading more birth charts. Right now, I have a lot of birth charts to practice with. But if you book a reading with me uh, through my website, mintuitiontarot.com, you'll see that on, on my bio um i will introduce some of your uh, astrological energies i'll look at your chart even and i can help you with that so um i'm adding that just because i want to practice with people that i don't know and so if you want to head over to my website check that out i also have my bracelets that if you want to check that out as well 